Now at five, a massive muni upgrade is about to shut down a high traffic track. We are inside the Twin Peaks tunnel as crews get ready to dig out and dismantle the aging infrastructure. Good afternoon. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Juliet Goodrich. The tunnel is between Castro and West Portal stations. It is used by some of the busiest Muni lines. KPI XY's Mary Lee live with a rare inside look into the giant construction project. Mary? That's right, Alan and Juliet. They gave us a tour of this tunnel to show us the improvements that they're making. They're also handing out these flyers to alert riders of the changes. After 100 years, Twin Peaks Tunnel is getting a much needed makeover. The heart of our system, the two mile Twin Peaks Tunnel, uh, which is 100 years old, ready for the next 100 years. This is what it looks like inside the Twin Peaks Tunnel. Crews took us down below at Market Street in Collingwood and gave us a rare special tour inside this historic tunnel. You heard a lot of grinding and, and all of that, and that's to take down some old concrete that will be ready to reinforce uh, with new concrete again for the next 100 years. So 100 years from now, I'm sure we can come back and talk again about how effective the work has been. Crews are replacing pretty much everything inside the tunnel from the tracks, walls to drainage systems. Replacing the tracks will lift the tunnel's speed restrictions, so expect faster travel through the tunnel. Also, crews are making it more secure with seismic reinforcements in the event of an earthquake. They're shutting down the tunnel for 60 days from June 25th to August 24th to work on it. For two of the lines that run through the tunnel, the L Terraval and the M Ocean View, buses will replace regular Muni Metro service. And for the K Ingleside line, it will operate along a modified route for the 60 day shutdown. This Memorial Day weekend, crews did a test run of the upcoming summer Muni service changes. This sets us up. This whole weekend is about the future, about making sure that the structure is safe for the next generation and the generation after that. It's all part of a $41 million tunnel restoration project, and it should all be completed in the winter of 2019. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Mary Lee, KPIX 5. Taking a